Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Dvita Gadadara Sri Vasari Gora Bhakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Dvita Chanda Jai Gora Bhakti Vrinda So today is a festival of Raghunath Das Goswami. <laughs> Raghunath Das Goswami Ki Jai. So we are going to read from Chaitanya Chaitamrit Antia Lila chapter 6. Antia Lila chapter 6. Atlanta, US. And it was huge. Huge. That constipation. <laughs> yes. It was huge festival. Panihati, Panihati His Solinus. Japataka Maharaj introduced that festival because proper name the place Panihati. Mm -hmm. So devotees have been celebrating this festival and they carry the mood. So uh, under his inspiration they have been expanding, expanding. Now it is very big. A port like this. Full of varieties. Prasada. <laughs> yes. And they stack it one after another. This one pot, this one pot, one pot, they then put another one on top, put another one on top, put another one on top. So it come out like this. It was huge. Unbelievable, but true. <laughs> that is happening physically. How Panihati Festival introduced more than 500 years ago, and it is carried on by the mission of His Divine Grace. So we see Bhaktivedanta Swami Sadhguru and His disciples are continuing the process. So it's a festival to be celebrated because Lord Nityananda Prabhu He showed us. By this pastime, or the relationship, or the importance of a special master in the life of a devotee who wants to get Krishna, I want to go back home, back to Godhead. That's the whole purpose of this <coughs> pastime. So we read from Chaitanya Chaitanya and. Enjoy ourselves for those who want to enjoy. Raghunath Das Gosai was inwardly completely renounced. Inwardly. 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 Completely renounced. Even in family life. But he did not express his renunciation externally. Instead, he acted just like an ordinary businessman. Seeing this, his father and mother were satisfied. When he received the message that Lord Sri Chita Mahaprabhu had returned from Mathura city, Raghunath Das Goswami endeavored to go to the lotus feet of the Lord. At that time, there was a Muslim official collecting the taxes of Saptagram. When Hiranya Das, Raghunath Das' uncle, made an agreement 
were the government to collect taxes, the Muslim Todri or tax collector, having lost his position, became extremely envious of him. He then knew that he was collecting two billion gold coins, and therefore he should have delivered 1.5 million to the government. He said he was giving only 1.2 million, thus making an extra profit of 300,000 coins. Seeing this, the Muslim Chaudhary, who was a talk, became his rival. After sending a confidential account to the government treasury, the Chaudhary brought the minister in charge. The Chaudhary came wanting to arrest Hiranyadas, but Hiranyadas had left home. Therefore, the children arrested Ragunadas. Every day, the Muslim would chastise Ragunadas and tell him, bring your father and his elder brother, otherwise you will be punished. The children wanted to beat him, but as soon as he saw Ragunada's face, his mind changed, and he could not beat him. Indeed, the children was afraid of Ragunada because Ragunada belonged to the Kayasta community. Although the children would chastise him with oral vibrations, he was afraid to beat him. While this was going on, Ragunadas thought of a tricky method of escape. Thus, he humbly submitted this plea at the feet of the Muslim children. My dear sir, my father and his elder brother are your brothers. All brothers always fight about something. Sometimes brothers fight among themselves, and sometimes they have very friendly dealings. There is no certainty when such changes will take place. Thus, I am sure that although today we are fighting, tomorrow you three brothers will be sitting together in peace. Just as I am my father's son, so I am also yours. I am your dependent and you are my maintainer. For a maintainer to punish the person he maintains is not good. You are expert in all the scriptures. Indeed, you are like a living saint. This is diplomacy. This is diplomacy. We have been talking about <coughs> the diplomatic, spiritual diplomatic dealings of Vasudev Maharaj, the father of Krishna, Kashyapa Muni, the husband of Diti. And now we are looking at the diplomacy of exalted pure devotee, Raghunandas Goswami. You are like a living saint. It's a Muslim. It's not a saint. But he supposedly followed the tradition, so the uh, so called religion. So he's a saint. If he's a saint, why is he fighting for money? And because he's poor, that's why he can see someone is stealing money. When the Muslim had Raghunadas appealing voice, his heart softened. He began to cry and tears glided down his beard. The Muslim children told Raghunadas, you are my son from this day on. Today, by some means, I shall have you released. After informing the minister, the children released Raghunadas 
and they began to speak to him with great affection. Your father's elder brother is less intelligent, he said. He enjoys 800,000 coins, but since I am also a, sec a shareholder, he should give me some portion of it to me. Now you go and arrange a meeting between me and your uncle. Let him do whatever he thinks best. I shall completely depend on his decision. Yes, I know he's taking some money. I give me some. This is the way of, uh, of crooked dealings, black market. Give me some, that's all. I know he will take uh, some money. Give me some. Because it is a, a, a black dealing. I won't say you should give me this amount. Whatever you give me, it's okay, I will take. So you know, fighting for government is fighting for mm -hmm. pocket. Raghuna Das arranged a meeting between his uncle and the Chaudhry, and the matter was settled, and everything was peaceful. In this way, Raghuna Das passed one year exactly like a first-class business manager, but. The next year, he again decided to leave home. He got up alone one night and left, but his father caught him in a distant place and brought him back. This became almost a daily affair. Raghunad would run away from home and his father would again bring him back. Then Raghunadar's mother spoke to his father as follows. Our son had become mad, she said. Just keep him by binding him with the ropes. His father, being very unhappy, replied to her as follows. Raguna Das, our son, has opulences like Indra. We were very fortunate to visit the place last year. We were there last year. With Daguna Das Goswami's father's house. At that time, you can see, you can, you can see everything. At that time, they see that place is still is this like a valley. It was a sea that time where all the sheep used to harbor, and was dealing on good. We show all the tilt, some random to business is still going on there. They're dealing with uh, alcohol and uh, palm oils. So we were there last year. So what we are reading is uh, reality, not fiction. So we went there, Raghunada Goswami's house, where he was born, where he lived, until he went to middle of Chitamapu in Jagannathpuri. Very nice village. So how then could we keep this boy home by binding him with ropes? It is not possible even for one's father to nullify the reactions of one's past activities. Raguna Das, our son, has opulences like Indra, the heavenly king, and his wife is as beautiful as an angel. Yet all this could not tie his mind, tie down his mind. Hmm? The only two powerful ropes which binds everyone to this material, Raghunandas Goswami is free. So which rope are you going to bind him? This is what uh, Raghunandas father is <laughs> okay. hmm? We have a, we have a, a big money and have a beautiful wife. 
So this is enough to tie you down. But if a devotee, this cannot be a rope to tie a devotee down. What do person do is a very big rope. This is this is a rope you cannot cut it. Nobody has power to cut it, except one who is free. Only a person who is free can can remove these ropes from the living entities. Two strong ropes, the strongest ropes. So Raghunada Goswami Father said, "We have bind our son Raghunada with these two ropes, and we are we are not successful." <laughs> the your talk is foolish. Rashi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has fully bestowed his mercy on him. Who can keep from such a madman of Chaitanya Chandra? Yeah, this is the truth. That's the truth. When we are gotten the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, nothing can happen again to that person. Nothing. Nothing. In the village of Panihati, sorry, then Raghunada has considered something in his mind. And the next day, he went to Nityananda Goswami. Nityananda Goswami ki. In the village of Panihati, also very fortunately, I went there. I went there. Let me, so, let me tell you something about this place, Panihati. Mm. There's some other thing here in this place, Panihati. There's some other thing. Some other thing here. I will tell you if you want to hear. Yes. You see, the stone comes out using killing his sister's baby. A stone, it's a stone there. Comes out with dash a, a newborn baby of his sister on that stone. Dash dead. That stone is a person. So, after these comes as atrocious activities. It's a very, very, very fortunate uh, devotee in Bengal. His devotion was so nice that the Lord told him, go to Mathura and take that stone and carve my deity. Make three deities out of it. <laughs> so the devotee was very ecstatic to go. The Lord told him, don't carry the stone on your head, on the vehicle, anyway. Just throw the stone in Jamuna, then you come back to Navadip, you get the stone. You go to the river, you get the stone. If you throw a stone in the water, it will go down. Yeah. If it is a basket, it will float. If it's a football, it will float. If it is calabash, no calabash. Calabas? No calabas? Mm -hmm. I don't know what is calabas. If you put the cal calabas on the water, it will float. But the stone will not float, the stone will go down because it has weight. But the Lord told him, throw the stone in Jamuna. Then you come back. You go to the Ganga here, you get the stone. So the king did. He went to Matura. Fortunately, he got the stone. The stone is not there now. The stone is not there. The stone comes out used in killing all the sisters' babies. It's no more in Matura. So the king went. Unfortunately, he got the stone. And through the stone in Jamuna, and then he went back to <coughs> Nawadweep. When he went there, he went to Ganga, and he got the stone. He brought a stone to the house and carved three deities. Small, medium, and 
large three sets of deities. So the second one, the second set of these deities is in Panihati. Panihati village. And it is here the Panihati village uh, Ragawa Pandit brought the feast. Ragawa Pandit's wife is Damayanti. She made preparation that Lodjitam how kiss eat for one year. So there is a display. There is a display of all the varieties of food that she cooks for Lodjitam Hapebo in this temple. Haribo. <laughs> This temple has all these wonderful persons. So the second set of these deities is in Panhanti village. Is it not mysterious? Yeah. Stone. It's a stone. So fortunately, we are, we are able to visit the whole three places in one day. By Messiah of Krishna. Our our dear friend in in Calcutta, he temple. He arranged that we visited the whole three. They are not in the same village, in different different villages, but we were able to cover the whole three. Well, the, the last one is Shamasunda. I forgot the name of the, the one. Shamasunda is the biggest. And that is Shamasunda, beautiful, so nice to see. Shamasunda key. Yeah. Yeah. So in Panihati you see this deity, the second one. And then after some years they made a, a Radharani and attached to them. So the whole three of them now have Radharani with the with the deities. So the festival in Panihati huh? it brought so many auspicious things. Rag Ragava Pandit wife, the Mayan tea. See? prepare something food hmm? you don't need fridge to keep it but it lasts for one year can you think about any food you can prepare that will stay for one year mm -hmm. Hare Krishna mm -hmm. hmm? prepare in the morning and afternoon is already gone mm -hmm. but the Mayanti can prepare food which will last for mm -hmm. one year without mm -hmm. fridge Perfect civilization. Perfect civilization. So in this temple, the whole varieties of, of person were all displayed there. You, when you enter the temple, you see everything so nice. Immediately you would like to eat. <laughs> mm. So fortunately, we have been to this place. Fortunately. Fortunately. And Messrs. Lakaupa and His Holiness Jabotaka Swimmer. Yes. So, Raghunath Das Goswami has been running away from home. The father will catch him and bring him back. He ran away from him. The father will catch him and bring him back to the house. He even went to meet Chitam Mahaprabhu as Santipo. When he went to meet Chitam Mahaprabhu at Santipo, Chitam Mahaprabhu would say, Go back to your father's house. Go back. Renunciation should not be like that of a monkey. That is not renunciation. Renunciation is different. <coughs> renunciation is from the heart, not external. Go to your father's house. I want to see how you will deal with your father's opulence and your new wife. I, I want to watch you and see how, how, <laughs> how you deal with these two ropes binding you. I want to see how you deal with it. Then I will know whether you are announced or not. So Raguna Dalgustani went back. Right? Chita Mahabu is teaching that we should renounce, right? Raguna Dalgustani went to meet him and he sent him back to the house. Is that correct? Is that correct? <laughs> no. Yes. Say renunciation, renunciation. And 
like your temple president will be preaching extensively give your life to Krishna, right? We discussed that they give your youth to Krishna. Mm -hmm. And if somebody just came to the temple, they go back, go back to you. Go back to your house. Will you think that this temple prison is proper? Why you preach to me to renounce? I want to renounce and I say I should go back. What is that? Sri Mahabu told Raghunanda Goswami, he came all the way to meet him, Santipo. Go back to your father's house. I want to see you, how you deal with this, both externally and internally. That's the duty of a special master to examine the disciple. Outside and inside. Outside. You can be Guru Dev, Guru Ji, Guru Ji. Inside, the same. It not be the same. Inside is different. But you don't have to want to see that inside and outside is the same. That's his renunciation. I say disciple. So he used Raghunanda Goswami to teach us the principle, this principle. And he saw that Raghunanda Goswami passed the test. He said, stay in your father's house with all, all the opulences is there. I would like you to do something in your mind. Don't be part of that nonsense. Externally, behave like you are a pounce and shilling man. I want to see that. Detachment. Renunciation is not hatred. It's not hatred. Renunciation is a different thing. Hatred is a different thing. So Raghunanda Goswami from Santipur, he went back again to the house and lived there exactly like Chitanga told him. In his mind, he was completely detached. Externally, he was following his father to do everything which is necessary. Say, so Father, I think, yes, thank you, Krishna. Krishna, thank you. Ah, now, our desire is fulfilled. Our son is back. So now he will, he will inherit my business. So, after some time of passing the test, he decided. Then Raguna Das Goswami considered something in his mind, and the next day he went to Nitananda Goswami. In the village of Padihati, Raguna Das obtained an interview with Nitananda Prabhu who was accompanied by many kirtan performers, servants and others, many kirtan performers. Many kirtan performers, servants and others, sitting on a rock under a tree on the bank of the Ganges. Don't the tendon that seemed as a fulgent as hundreds of thousands of rising suns. Now His Holiness Bhakti Charu Maharaj is constructing a temple there. The very spot. He bought it to her. Fortunately. It's constru I don't know if it is completed now. It's building a temple. It's completed. So that the place is owned by Isko. At the bank of the Ganga. But this place, the Ganga is very swift. So I'm wondering how people entered there and they were not drowned. That's the mess of the Prabhu. People entered there to eat their festival food, but nobody was drowned. The Ganga there is very deep and swift. Because you were there. Spend some time there to um, really feel the atmosphere.
we really felt the atmosphere. So we spent some time there, waited for some time. Because by then, it was so nicely calculated by this, our dear devoted friend. So ca calculated that day, we have to spend, we met the deity before they were put to rest. So we waited there, hmm, enjoyed the atmosphere for some time. So that by the time we go to the next one, the temple there is open. And that's exactly what happened. By the time we got there, it was open. So we had the last darshan, peacefully, no stress. Then we return back to Calcutta the same day. Very nice. So here, Nita Prabhu is sitting. You have the picture? It's in my hair, but I cannot show it because I'm using from there. Very nice. Nita Prabhu is sitting. On a rock, under a tree, on the bank of the Ganges. Lonely Tananda seemed as a full gen as hundreds of thousands of rising suns. Many devotees sat on the ground surrounding him. Seeing the influence of Nityananda Prabhu, Raguna Das was astonished. Yes. Raguna Das Goswami was astonished to see the influence of Nityananda. Nityananda Prabhu Kira. If as he says, as Fujian as thousands, thousands of millions of sons. Raguna Das Can you see how he's a Fujian? Can you see he's a Fujian? Yes. 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 Thousands of Kirtan performers, other devotees were all surrounding their Lord. And he's sitting very composed. Already planned the festival in his head. And everything will become manifest as as time goes on. As time goes on. Such a beautiful. Yeah. Yes. This is Krishna consciousness. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> Raguna Das Goswami offered his obeisances by falling prostrate at a distant place and the servant of Nityananda Prabhu pointed out there is Raguna Das offering you obeisances here indeed Lord Nityananda Prabhu said you are a thief now you have come to see me huh? see, see what it, how Nityananda Prabhu said you are a thief. Now you have come to see me. Means what? Come here. Come here. Today I shall punish you. Hmm? See, Nitanel probably said, Now you have come to see me. Means what? Yes, you've been going here and there, here and there. Why did he succeed? Without the guru, you want to go where? Huh? Where you will go? Without guru. 
So he said, now you have come to your senses. You want to do the right thing. You are a thief, me. You want to get Christian without? Guru. How? Huh? A person who enters your house through the window is what? It's a thief. A guest will come, a, a bona fide a guest will come through the door. Yes. Coming through the back door is so a welcome guest. A welcome guest will come through the main gate. If you cannot come through the gate, any other place you come, you are a thief. That means you're not wanted. So Nathan will say, Now you have come to see me. After you going so many places, now you have come to see me. Come here, come here. Today I shall punish you. The Lord called him, but Raguna did not come near the Lord. Then the Lord forcibly caught him and placed his lotus feet upon Ragunada's head. Ragunada Goswami Ki. Problem is finished. When good fortune? All problems finished. Yes. Lord Nitenera was very was by nature very merciful and funny. <laughs> Being merciful, he spoke to Raguna Das as follows. You are just like a thief. For instead of coming near, you stay away at a distant place. Now that I have captured you, I shall punish you. A punishment is what is a punishment? Make a festival and feed all my associates, you God and cheap rice. Hearing this Ragunar Das was very greatly pleased. Hmm? A fortunate person, a fortunate disciple will say, hey, this is great fortune. Immediately, Raghunath Das Goswami immediately sent his own men to the village to purchase all kinds of eatables and bring them back. Unfortunate person will say, oh, this is, how will I be able to feed all these people? Ah, this is too much money. So much money I'm going to spend. Hey, this is too much. This is too much. How will I take care of this? Hmm? This is it. Sometimes they invite the Swami to come to the house, but nobody else will come. The Swami come to the house, want to feed you nicely, but other people. If I feed you, what benefit will I get? What will I get from you if I feed you with condition souls? What benefit will I get from that? See, Swami, pure devotee, yes. Maharaj. Take Prasad. Eat. But this one. This is in your fight, nature. This is in your fight. Lord Nityana Prabhu did not say, feed me, I'm a Paramahamsa, give me Prasad. He said, feed all my people, all my associates, you got on cheap rice, all my people. This is a word used here, it's not my word, this is a word used here. Make a festival and feed all my associates. Whoever is with the, the good is what? Is his associate. Whoever is there. If you actually love the sannyasi or the guru, how will you show that? that how will you show you, you love him? Love so Papa me. said, love me, love, me, love, me, love, love, love my dog. I love you, but not your dog. Your dog is useless. 
Hmm? This is a bad logic. You know, scriptural. Ah! I will. All these people, it's too much money. It's too much money. How can I feed all these people? After all, they are not swamis. But the swami you are feeding today was also sitting there yesterday. He was sitting on the floor there yesterday. Today is a swami you are feeding him. Don't you also think that tomorrow another swami is going to come from the same place? The swami today is coming from where? From the floor there. That means that what? Many other swamis are sitting there. Today it is my turn. Tomorrow it's your turn. This consciousness we don't have. Christian consciousness becomes difficult. The Tanabra is teaching us we should learn. And what, is, what happened here? Hearing the Raguna Das was greatly pleased. Greatly pleased. Raguna Das immediately sent his own men to the village to purchase all kinds of eatables and bring them back. Raguna Das brought chipped rice, you got milk, sweet meat, sugar, bananas, and other eatables and placed them all around. As soon as they heard that the festival was going to be held, all kinds of brahmanas and other gentlemen began to arrive. Because they were innumerable people. They were innumerable people. Raguna Das Goswami did not think, My Lord, you shall should feel the associate. You see, people are coming now, they are not the associate. Let's close the gate. So close the gate so that you will not come here. This is due to stinginess, poverty. Not not even really poverty, but poverty consciousness. A poverty conscious a person a person with the poverty consciousness. Even if it's a billionaire. He will not do any pious activity. Because he's still a poor person. Seeing the crowd increasing, Raguna Das arranged to get more eatables from other villages. He also brought two to four hundred large round eating pot. Hundred and large hundreds. Hundred. Hmm? He also brought two to four hundred large round eating pots. Can you imagine that? Two to four hundred large. This is large. I'm going to have extra large. <laughs> he also obtained five or seven especially large. Eating pot, and in this pot, a brahmana began sucking the chip rice for the satisfaction of Lord Nityananda. In one place, chip rice was soaked in hot milk in each of the large pots. Then, half the rice was mixed with yogurt, your sugar, and bananas. The other half was mixed with the condensed milk. And a special type of banana known as Champa Kala. Then sugar, clarified butter, and camphor were added. Hmm? You know, Champa Kala is a short, yes, yeah, short, round banana. 
nice aroma very nice aroma the other half was mixed with condensed milk and a special type of banana known as champa kala then sugar clarified butter and comfort were added after Nitananda Prabhu had changed his cloth for a new one and sat on the raised platform, the Brahmana brought before him the seven huge parts, seven huge parts, like you experience in Atlanta, heavy. For one person, they dump it on your face. Immediately, your uh, hunger will disappear. You'll be afraid. Eh, I will not be able to finish this. And nobody will support you. Because every person has the same pot. <laughs> Since you will visit Atlanta, Panihati Festival, it's, it's amazing. Amazing. How devotees were able to cook all these things. <laughs> it is powerful. Really powerful. Hmm? And there are not many devotees. There are, many, not, there are not many. The congressional devotees did everything. Hmm? That is because the love they have for their guru. They were to make all this sacrifice. So this year we are not in Atlanta, we are locked up in Pandavan Down. See, see how Krishna is making his arrangement. Next year, we don't know where it's going to be. Panihati itself. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna can do anything. We'll bring all of you to Panihati. It's possible. Yes. Nobody knows we are going to sit here today. No. And we are here. Right? So you can arrange to send us to Panihati Dam. And have a day. Experiencing it live. On that platform. All the most important associates of Sini Tanda Prabhu, as well as other important men, sat down in a circle around the Lord. It was there. Don't you see? They sat down before the Lord. This is a process. Hmm? Even in by Kunta, this is how it is done. This is not a Panihati one. I will show you the Panihati one. Yes, see the Panihati one here. It's Panihati, the Prasad is there. See? Mm -hmm. Yes. At this time, Lord Chita Mahavu has been invited. At this time. Mm -hmm. So Lord Chita Mahavu has appeared. Hmm? By the invitation of Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu called him. Hey! Brother, hey, please, something is happening here. Please, come on down. And the time we say, yeah, that's great. That is great. Immediately, the Chetan people came for the festival to join the Lord. Hmm? The twin separable brothers. <laughs> Right? Yes. You see the pot there? Or the pot? Mm. Mm. They have the same thing in, in, in Atlanta. Mm. Mm. They have the same mm. huge pot, the same shape. Yes. Mm. How you finish one, one, one pot like that? Varieties of different, they all stock inside. A variety of stock, very varieties of different preparations are stuck inside the one pot. Hmm? Not just one preparation. That variety is loaded in one pot and it goes around. Heavy. 
Saliva is not coming in the mouth yet. <laughs> so, let <me laughs> so let me enjoy the festival. Hope. Today is not today is not a currency, so you are free. You are free to enjoy. Right? This is festival. Mm. Among them we are Ramadas, Sundarananda, Gadadra Das, Muradi, Kamalaksha, Kamala, Kamalakar, Sarasi, and Purandar. Dananjai, Jagdish, Parameshwar Das, Mahesh, Gori Das, and Hoda Krishna Das. We are also there. Similarly, Udarana Datta Takura and many other personal associates of the Lord sat on the raised platform when the tendanda prabhu no one could count them all no one can count all of them hearing about the festival all kinds of learned scholars brahmanas and priests went there lord nitenda prabhu honored them and made them sit on the raised platform with him everyone was offered two eating pots in one was put chipped rice with condensed milk, and the other chipped rice with yogurt. <coughs> All the other people sat in groups around the platform. No one could count how many people they were. Each and every one of them was supplied two earthen pots, one of chipped rice soaked in yogurt, and the other cheap rice soaked in condensed milk. Some of the brahmanas, not having gotten a place on the platform, went to the bank of the Ganges with their two earthen pots and soaked their cheap rice there. Others who could not even get a place on the bank of the Ganges got down into the water and began eating their two kinds of cheap rice. The Ganga didn't take anyone. Inside, can you see the face of So attractive people enter inside the water. The whole place is already full, packed to full. It's a market, a festival. Those, some sat on the platform, some at the base of the platform, and some on the bank of the Ganges. And they were all supplied two pot each by the 20 men who distributed the food. At that time, Raghava Pandit arrived there. Seeing the situation, he began to laugh. <laughs> he began to laugh in great surprise. <laughs> what is this? Festival. It's a festival. Is it not? He brought many kinds of food cooked in ghee and offered to the Lord. This prasadam he first placed before Lord Nityananda and then distributed among the devotees. Raghava Pandi said to Lord Nityananda, For you, sir, I have already offered food to the deity, but you are engaged in the festival here, and so the food is lying on torch. The food is there in my house on torch. What to do? In other words, Raga Pandit is, is, is expressing his desire. Don't fool your belly. Hmm? Reserve some space. You should reserve some space. Otherwise, my own food will be a waste. No Nitana Prabhu replied, Let me eat all this. <laughs> Let me eat all, all this food here through the day, and I shall eat at their home at night. I belong to a community of cowherd boys. And therefore, 
I generally have many cow head associated with me. I am happy when we eat together in a picnic like this. By the sandy bank of the river. Lonnie Tina and Medragava Pondit sit down and had to put delivered to him also. There were two kinds of cheap rice soaked in them. When cheap rice had been served to everyone, Lonnie Tenena uh, Prabhu in meditation brought Sichita Mahaprabhu. Sichita Mahaprabhu ki! Yeah. When Sichita Mahaprabhu arrived, and now his arrival, Yes, she announced his arrival. When Sri Chaitan Mahaprabhu arrived, Lonita Ananda Prabhu stood up. They didn't saw how the others were enjoying the cheap rice with yogurt and condensed milk from each and every pot. Lonita Ananda Prabhu took one morsel of food of cheap rice and push it inside the mouth into the mouth of Lord Sita Mahaprabhu as a joke. Nitanaya Prabhu was going from plate each devotee to each devotee. He would take one more shell. Take one <coughs> And Chitama was eating. Was enjoying it. And then, what happened? What happened? Reciprocation took place. Reciprocation. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is the nature of Krishna consciousness. There is always reciprocation. When Nityananda Prabhu was doing that, enjoying the fun, no one could understand what Nityananda Prabhu was doing as he walked about. Some, however, some, however, who were very fortunate could see that the Sri Chita Mahaprabhu was also present. Then Nityananda Prabhu smiled and sat down. On his right side, he kept four pots of cheap rice that had not been made from boiled paddy. Lonitana offers Sita Mahaprabhu a place and had him sit down. Then together the two brothers began to eat cheap rice. Seeing Lonitana Mahaprabhu eating with him, Lonitana Prabhu began, became very happy and exhibited varieties of ecstatic love. Lord Nitana Prabhu ordered, All of you eat chanting the holy name. Hari! 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 They sounded filling the entire universe. The Andinis universe. <laughs> when all the verses was were chanting the holy name. Hari! 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 And eating, they remembered how Krishna and Baladan were hmm, what their companions, the cowherd boys on the bank of the Jamuna. Shichita Mahaprabhu and Lonnie Tenanda Prabhu are extremely merciful and liberal. It was Raghunada's good fortune that they accepted all these dealings. Who can understand the influence and mercy of Lonnie Tenanda Prabhu? He is so powerful. That he induced Lord Sita Mahaprabhu to come eat cheap rice on the bank of the Ganges. All the confidential devotees who were cowherd boys headed by Sri Ram Das were absorbed in ecstatic love. They thought the bank of the Ganges to be the bank of the Jamuna. When the shopkeepers of many other villages heard about the festival, they arrived there to sell cheap rice, yogurt, sweet meat, and bananas. As they came, bringing all kinds of food, Raguna Das purchased it all. He gave them to the, he gave them the price for their own good, 
and later fed them the very same food. Anyone who came to see how these funny things were going on was also fed cheap rice, yogurt and bananas. After long eating, Prabhu finished eating, he washed his hands and mouth and gave Raghunath Das a food remaining in the four parts. There was food remaining in the three other big parts of Lord Nityanadan, and a Brahmana distributed it all to the devotees, giving a morsel to each. Then a Brahmana brought a flower garland and placed the garland on Nityanadan Prabhu's neck and smeared sandalwood pulp all over his body. When the servant brought betel nuts and offered them to Lord Nityanadan, the Lord smiled and chewed them. With his own hands, only Tananda Prabhu distributed to all the devotees whatever flower garland, sandalwood pulp, and betel nuts remained. After receiving the remnant of food left by only Tananda Prabhu, Dragona Das, who was greatly happy, ate some and distributed the rest among his own associates. Thus, I have described the past time for only Tananda Prabhu in relation to the celebrated festival of cheap rice and yogurt. Nityananda Prabhu rested for the day and then the day and when the day ended he went to the temple of Raghava Pandit and began congregational chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Nityananda Prabhu ki Raghunath Das Goswami ki Itai Gura Pramanandi All glory is a single devotees. Hare Krishna. All right. Thank you. Hare Krishna. See you again later. <coughs> yes, if I'm still in the body. <laughs> if I'm still in the body, you see you tomorrow. <laughs> Otherwise, Hari <laughs> Okay, Sri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Sri Panihati Festival Ki Jai. Raghava Pandit Ki Jai. Damayanti Mata Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. Tony Bhakti Dhamma Das Swami Maharaj Ki Jai.